Also, I was just dropped off this lawnmower to hopefully get it working again. And it does have a couple issues. One of them I just noticed. It's missing the half inch bolt that goes into the side of the gas tank and carburetor. I should have an extra one of those lying around. All in all, this isn't really that hard of a fix. This will apply to really any lawnmower that this happens to. But what's wrong with this thing is it's been overfilled with oil. And because it's been overfilled with oil, that oil is seeped past the rings. The bell cable is working fine. It's really easy to fix, it can be messy. So what we're going to do is get the tools situated and then we'll be right back. I'm going to show you guys just how much oil is in this thing right now. This is very common. I see people do this all the time. It's really nothing new. But you can see the oil level is all the way up here. And it's supposed to be down here, right about there. So we'll just dump all this stuff out. And we're just gonna let it drain. This will take a little while. It's never quick. So while this is draining, I'm gonna look for another bolt for that gas tank. Tip it back over. And I'm just gonna remove this and get the tank and the filter and carburetor off. So this still has gas in it, which is surprisingly clean. Don't want to lose that. I think there's a couple things at play, but unfortunately, it looks like that old bolt got broke off inside of here. There you guys go. So they don't normally come out that easy, but thankfully I don't have much rust here. But that's what happened to the old bolt. Hopefully the new one I've got will work. So I found the right bolt for my horde of engine parts. Now the carburetor and the tank are perfectly clean. So I'm not going to worry about cleaning them out unless I absolutely have to, but I think we'll be okay for now. So I'm just gonna slide that linkage back through grab the spring and loop this on and the governor spring back on that's good so now we can reinstall the tank bolt all right so now just to put that other bolt in there we go so what we have to do now is take the spark plug out because we're going to have to clear all the oil out that's inside of that cylinder. So in order to do this, so with the boot off, just get your proper size socket and ratchet. And then just take the plug out. plug looks like it was just changed, but you guys can see some of the uh, oil that's just drizzling out of this cylinder. So on how you clear this, you're not going to get all of them out, believe me. You just pull it through a few times. And there you have that. So, unfortunately, it's never, it's never an outright clean job, but this is what you have to do. So we're going to get ready to refill it with oil. And you don't have to worry too much about all this. I am going to clean this deck off after I'm done. And I'm going to spray out the spark plug and clean it up right now. It looks like they just replaced it, so no worries there. Looks like it's in good condition. 
and naturally I'll service up the air filter with some of the oil that we took out of the machine. Spark plugs all cleaned up, ready to reinstall. One thing that is important that I like to do with these is just kind of start them with my fingers first. Just rotate the socket by hand. The thing you have to remember is to not over torque these. So it just basically stopped just a little bit more and that's good enough. It's very easy to overdo that. A lot of people forget that or don't realize it. So there we have that. Now let's go ahead and throw some oil in her. The oil I like to use is this stuff. It's cheap. It's actually a really good oil and it's majorly overkill for a lawnmower engine. It's a really good oil and I've used it over the years with decent success. But when you fill up your lawnmower with new oil, you only take about 20 ounces. Some take less than that. It's always best to look at your owner's manual. Those can be found online. Not really all that difficult to do, but the rule of thumb for any Briggs & Stratton or Tecumseh is going to be about 20 ounces. Some Hondas are 12. Um, and naturally put in what the manual recommends. If it says 30 weight oil, put 30 weight oil in. If it says 10W30, again, some Hondas have that. Um, so just use whatever your manual recommends. So 20 ounces. go. So we'll let it settle for a minute, throw the dipstick back in and see where we're at. Now I said I was going to service up the oil filter on this thing, or excuse me, the air filter, and it looks like that's already happened, probably due to the overfilling of oil. So this thing's already pretty well saturated. I'm not going to worry about that. It looks like they just changed it. So I'm assuming what happened is they tried to do a tune-up on their own. They replaced everything that they should have but they drained the oil out because the oil in it didn't look all that dirty. And uh, they probably just, without even thinking, stuck a whole quart of oil in. And, you know, then we have this issue with their mower not wanting to run because it's hydro-locked. Again, very common, especially with people that don't really know what they're doing or understand. Um, it's not a bad thing per se. It's just something you always want to watch out for. Believe me, I'm not knocking this guy at all. It's an easy mistake to make. So we'll just reinstall this. Check the level. And we're right about where we should be. Check it one more time. Yep, right there. So we're good now. In theory, this thing should run. Still might be a little difficult to pull. And the other thing that I'll let you guys know about who've never done this before, typically your machine is going to smoke like a freight train. That's normal. It's gonna to have to burn off all that residual oil that's left in that cylinder. All right, so you start it like any other time you've tried to start your machine. This thing is going to make a ton of smoke. Hopefully it's been cleared out enough.
So everything seems to be working okay. Now I'm just going to spray some purple power on it and clean it off and go from there. Well, I just wash it off with some purple power. Probably go over it again once it completely dries off. But that purple power is great. It takes off all the grease and nastiness and dirt and everything that accumulates on top of the motor and everywhere else and really does a bang up job of cutting all the crap off. So obviously this thing would look a lot better if I waxed it, but I'm not really gonna bother with that. It's a lawnmower, not a car. But uh, yeah, so now I just have to write up all the stuff that I did do it and give them the uh, receipt, I guess. But it's an easy 25 bucks. I think that's what I'm going to charge him for all that. I did have to spend about a half hour on it, so it's about right to me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more. Things have been kind of slow lately due to the uh, market not being as high as it should be this time of year. Um, but hopefully that picks up. And uh, hopefully you guys get some more videos, but you all stay.